massively grateful for what you just did to my face um, but I can't carry you with me everywhere I go when I need that so I'd like to give some tips about other things that we can do very similar to what you did with me but that are now self-sufficient mm. so we carry hopefully our hands with us so we're just going to play with a couple of things on our body so we start with just going under the sinuses so you're just going to run your either your thumbs or your index fingers and we just start at the sort of edge of the nose again I love to just show it on the on the skeleton as well so we're in that point there and we're just going to run together mm. as we go down that zygomatic arch all the way and you're going to walk up and you're just going to find where your top jaw your mandible meets your bottom jaw your maxilla and hold here at the actual joint go all the way find it find it find it find it find it so, so Ian's doing a nice sliding effect I like to do pressure pointing all the okay. way so I just change 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 until I get to that that joint so when we're here we're now going to open our jaw very slowly so and close I'm gonna do that again opening and while you're opening you're noticing if one side is opening more mm -hmm. than the other go just a little under the jaw a little bit and do the same thing so you're still on the not the on the top joint. Yeah, yeah not on the top portion but you're now on the lower so portion more on the masseter. that's it and then we're going to go open mouth and close mouth then we're going to go down the side over here we're going to start walking down through the edges and so now we're at that corner of the jaw itself and I like to pull both thumbs apart so we're widening yes. the jaw open that's probably that, that, that needle it's the exact terrible. medial pterygoid that you had your finger on for me and then I'd walk very careful now remember your tongue rests here at the bottom of your throat or the, the bottom of your mouth to this to this hyoid to the bone. hyoid bone yeah and we're going to walk our thumbs just one after the other under the jawline all the way don't talk while you're doing yes. it otherwise you're going to choke yes. and you're going to end up right at the center of your jaw so chin and, and underneath the margin there. that's it and then from there we just slide fingers from the center chin all the way back out to the end of the jaw again so good now take your fingers like this and here's the masseter this is what it looks like so we're just going to roll our fingers down or brush or slide or pull or stretch whatever word that seems to feel good for you and then let's open the jaw while we do that and then close and open and close now I'm not a big fan of showing my tongue out but <laughs> It's such an important thing that we have to do. So we're just going to take the skin here and we're just going to wriggle it from left to right. And, and the fascia. On the and the fascia. And right here is our esophagus, which is, you know, our food pipe. We've got our, our wind pipe. So there's our larynx, our voice box. There's a lot of stuff going on over here. So you want to Carotid. be careful with this. Carotid arteries, of course. So we're going to start to go down the throat line. So from here, we go, we jiggle the trachea from left to right, trachea is the windpipe, all the way down towards... The Adam's apple. <clears throat> I don't have an Adam's apple. No, I have. Yeah. Can you hear your, your voice? Yes. Can you feel the vibration yes. of the cords? How cool. Yeah. All the way to the sternum and then going back up again. So we're also jiggling that hyoid bone. Don't worry if you don't know what the hyoid bone is. You don't need to know, just that you're touching is important. I need to. Yeah. Very important. Dentistry, of course. Yes. Okay, so here comes the part I don't like, but we have to do it. We're going to stick our tongue out like we're roaring like a lion. You ready? So we go, ah, <laughs> and bring it back in. And again, ah. That's, and that's the key we have. One more. Ah. <laughs> Wipe your chin from your tongue. <laughs> and already you should, and now I like to go. It should feel quite good. All right. Taking one hand to the back of your head sorry back of your neck and you're going to pull the skin away from your neckline so this is your nuchal ligament yes and if you are well we're both from south africa originally so of course you're going to make a reference to something animal like so a lioness who picks up her cub yes. from the scruff of the neck that's the area that we're sort of pulling in it feels very um loving it's naturally it's very nurturing yes, yes that's the word loving yes. nurturing it feels so good 
And they, and that's an important thing for the text next. Yes. The nuclear, the nuclear ligament is, is uh, the nuclear ligament is actually an interesting thing. It, it, it's very few animals that have nuclear li ligaments because we they only have upright, and that's why we have a nuclear lig ligament. It allows us to, to keep run. our head up. Yes. Yeah. All right. Take that now to your shoulders, and you do a little squeeze on the left and the right. So you take individual hands, and we just do a little squeeze on each side. So here we're not going to squeeze ourselves to death. It's just like that same sort of lifting of the skin away from uh, the more muscles. Of, more of fascia yeah, the muscles everything's thing. fascially related. All right, and then um, when you were doing it on me, and you were um, using my bicep tendon mm. as a, a point, I'm going to take us to our pec minor. So the pec minor just lives if you go um, just under your collarbone here. If you hung your arm down a little bit, you would find it a lot easier and quicker. Um, and it attaches onto part of your shoulder blade called the coracoid process and you can just do one side at a time and it just do a little circle around, circle around one way circle around the other way maybe let your arms sink down to the side as we're doing that and just give it a little shake and then don't do the other side yet just do this one side and then rest that down and i don't know maybe on camera you can see but maybe what do you feel different between your right and your left side this actually feels heavier. Yeah. Mm. How about we bring the shoulders forward and then take the shoulders back and you notice a difference between the right and the left? Yeah, there's more, there's more pull on the, on the left. Yeah. So this one feels a little freer? Yes. Do you feel like you got more range on that side? Yes. Yeah. And all we did was touch. Yes. It's just so and quick to change. And actually the muscle so much as the fascia. Yeah. Let's yeah. go the other side just to even us off.